So we come to the 11th uh, move of the 18 form Quigong sequence, but added on to the eight brocades. Um, so this is like a 26 form, because there's two forms, an eight form and an 18 form. This, we've done the eight brocades one, so the eight, and we've added on, we're adding on the 18. This is the 11th of the 18. So basically this is the 19th move of this whole 26 form Quigong sequence. You don't have to worry about that. You can either do these singly or in order, the order I put them. And we're not going down a traditional path with it, i.e. breathing into the belly button like a balloon, the more meditative stuff in a traditional form to massage the organs, etc. We're going down the path of Pilates, breathing with yogic and hypnotic responses within that. Um, again, within the traditional stuff, they, they're linked to organs uh, within each specific move. They're linked to organs and electromagnetic rivers um, called meridians. Um, again, this would be the heart, lungs, pericardium and the kidneys, um, as with a lot of bending exercises helping the kidneys, which they will be doing anyway. Um, I'm a great believer in the oxygen will reach every single organ, cell, sinew of the body, um, every single atom of the body, basically. So it will benefit every organ. But obviously, within the specific forms, they're specifically linked to specific organs. Um, we're not going to go into that. I've done that in detail in other, other videos. We're going to go straight in with the breathing. So with this breathing, we're going to go into the Pilates breath. We're going to zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, take the navel towards the spine and then simply breathe in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips in the usual Pilates manner that will help you as you zip up pelvic floor scoop out your abdominals that help you breathe into these lower lobes of lungs these fish gills 3d style to see that happening you can put the two middle fingers touching underneath the breastbone the sternum okay a xiphoid process just underneath the sternum you get the two middle fingers touching as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals right now. You feel that breath coming in low and deep to these lower lobes of lungs, your intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. You'll see this sort of motion happening, even if it's just in micro moves. You'll feel that width to the lungs and length to the out breath. Okay, now close the mouth. Okay, unlike the Pilates breath. Okay, we're gonna close the mouth. As you still zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, keep breathing into them fish gills, 3D style, organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep into them lower lobes of lungs. Okay, so someone's opening an umbrella inside your rib cage and letting go, or someone's just pushing out from inside your ribs and letting go. That lovely, free, expansive breath, just breathing organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep into these lower lobes of lungs the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Lovely. Now, as you keep on keeping the mouth shut, breathing in for the nose and exhaling for the nose, that just goes down a little bit more the yogic path of the breathing. That goes more into the filtering breath. So again, you've got this smaller filter for the nose and that helps us lengthen the breath even longer. Okay, especially that lovely elongated out breath. Okay, that smaller filter in the nose will help. It's like cleansing breath, victorious. Again, that cleansing breath, I'm gonna change this, not now. Um, that cleansing breath will help us lengthen the breath. Okay, that cleansing breath in and out through the nose is a smaller filter, so it helps us lengthen the breath in a yogic manner. Again, within the saunas, they help you get into the postures, that long, elongated breath. But again, especially with this, we're gonna go down the hypnotic path. We're gonna elongate the out breath longer than the in breath. So with that, you're gonna breathe in through the nose and exhale through the nose for as long as you like, okay? Again, as the in breath's conscious thought, the out breath is subconscious thought. So by extending the out breath longer than the in breath, that just encourages sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation, all in that lovely elongated out breath. Okay, lovely. So again, it's a bit like 7-Eleven breathing from, um, sorry, 
hypnotherapy. You breathe in for seven, exhale for 11, or five, breathe in for five, out for nine. You just make the out breath longer than the in breath. Whatever your count is, you'll have to count that. You will find that natural, nor naturally wants to happen as you elongate that out breath. Okay, that will naturally want to happen as you breathe in from the nose and let go of the out breath. That will naturally want to fall longer than the in breath. So just simply allow that to happen, that out breath to go longer than the in breath as you're zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, and then consciously take your mind to that out breath. Quadruplet, doublet, triplet, whatever you like, the out breath, make it longer than the in breath. Consciously take your mind to that out breath. Rather than the breath, breathe you, you're going to breathe the breath. Quadruplet, double it, triple it, what you like, whatever you like, the out breath, but make it longer than the in breath. Encouraging them restful relaxation responses and endless streams of comfort. Lovely. So, with that, as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, take the navel towards the spine. That's going to help you breathe in low and deep to them lower lobes of lungs. And as you do that, as you elongate the out-breath longer than the in-breath, that's going to help the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps with sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation, all in that lovely elongated out-breath. Lovely. So again, all the things you don't think about, cellular communication between the cells, again, organs communicating and working in their own manner. And cleansing the body. You don't have to think about that. That's happening. So again, in breath's conscious thought, out breath is subconscious thought. So by extending the out breath longer than the in breath, we're just encouraging sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation. All the housekeeping properties of the body are benefited. Now again, you can stick with that if you were to take that on a little bit further and make that more advanced yogic breath. Then you can grip the esophagus. You're going to breathe in, make this sort of Darth Vader breath. And exhale. You're going to breathe in through the nose. And exhale through the nose. That's whistling, silky, raspy, ujjayi breath, victorious breath. In Sanskrit, that's victorious breath, ujjayi breath, victorious breath. That's going to help us lengthen the breath even longer, okay, and give the mind something to focus on. Lovely. And again, that's more sort of focusing breath, seashore breath, ujjayi breath, victorious breath. That stimulates the thyroid gland, which helps with weight control, etc. Helps us build the heat from the body and fan the fire about all the toxins in the body. It's nearly, nearly Ashtanga yoga breath in a way, but not quite. Okay, so as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, you can either do that Ujjayi breath or not. We're gonna link this to motion. Again, it will stretch the chest. There's not much it doesn't stretch this one. Depends how deep you wanna go into this and bend over towards this lead leg. You can keep the foot on the floor or pass it or dorsiflex it and come back empty and fill, okay? Again, going to go back and demonstrate this. Again, breathing through the nose, you're elongating the out-breath for as long as you like and simply starting again. So from there, again, the foot to there, going to empty and fill. So from here, you're going to breathe in and exhale for as long as you like. If you want to roll into this lead leg, you can, or stay up high. If you want to go deep, you can go deep or stay up high. But only go as deep as you like to relax and let go, you're gonna breathe in through the nose and exhale for as long as you like. Then breathe in when you're ready and exhale. As you're partially emptying and filling that lead leg, only go as deep as you like. Again, reaching up, be nice and long and be nice and wide and then swap over legs Harsh empty and feel the leg, breathing in and exhaling. Thinking tiny waist, navel towards the spine, breathing in and exhale, rolling forward and back. (sighs) 
and simply start again when you like. Again, nothing set the motion, just elongate the out breath for as long as you like and start again. Partially empty and feel the leg, that foot coming back and forth. You're getting that sciatic floss from the heel all the way up to the sacrum bone, the sacrum bone there. Again, that lower abdomen's getting squeezed like a pump or a bellows with the breath, the motion the movement, as you get lost in the breath, the motion the movement. True stillness is stillness in motion. Only go as deep as you like. If you want to stay up high, you can do, or go down deep. Really nice one, opens out the chest and all the organs in the chest. As you roll over, glutes, hamstrings, calves. Okay, and again, that foot, even if you're bringing that foot in, okay, the plantar region of the foot. But again, it's a really good one. There's not much that doesn't stretch in a dynamic way. Okay, again, that's scooping the sea. Next one's pushing the waves. That was number 11 of the 18 form Qigong sequence. Added on to eight, eight break brocades. That's 19 of 26 moves, two forms together. Next one's pushing the waves. Bang.